Hello, this is Chrissy. Today I'm here to share with you a couple of things. Um, this is my new newest um, journal. It's the Three Ring Bound Journal and the Patchwork Look um, covers that I've stitched together. So on the side here there's a little charm and it ties closed with a sing uh, sorry lace pretty little flower here and inside here we've got um, two pockets on the cover with a pretty tab here And another one here. This paper is from an Artie Mays kit. Uh, I think it's Dragonfly Dreams. Big tag here. some sheer sheer fabric here with a little tag embellishment at the bottom here Two pockets here, three actually, there's three, there's one at the back here and then there's another one here with two tags in it. And then this one at the side here. It's got a postcard in it. Two tags here, the loose pocket, and that opens up, and then on the back there's a tag and two cards. A button card here with some buttons on it. This one I've left open to um, so you can journal inside it. And that just clips on there. It's the same. The tag here. This one is a, an envelope that I've made out of some sort of glassine paper. A little embellishment on the top, just tucks in there. And this one's a, um, what do you call that? Vellum envelope. Okay. Pretty but unlike the way the butterfly shows through. Two little embellishments here with flowers. Two pockets here. Fabric pockets, both of those are fabric pockets. Lots of space to write. Some ruffled trim. This is a fabric pocket here and I've got um, tags in that one and on the back here there's a lace pocket with more cards in it and then that's um, a flap there with the 
extra writing space. This is old music paper. It's another big tag there and a lace pocket here on this side with more tags and embellishments and tucked in here is um, some of this Harrods paper that I like to put in my journals. It's a Victorian um, Harrods catalogue with uh, very interesting reading. So I'll just pop that in there for you to read. This has got another big tag and a pretty little stamped card. This one has three cards and tags. Pretty page. Um, little embellishment at the top. Lots of tags in this book. Got some little flap there. This one is um, a big envelope. And this is just a collection of little cards that you can write on and put throughout the book wherever you want them. And as I always say with these um, books with the hinged binding, they're very flexible because you can add things to them very easily and also change things about if you want them in different places. That's a tag there behind the doily. And in the top is three, three more postcards. And they just slide in the top here. This is fabric here and some pretty lace. This is a fabric um, couple of pages here. An old um, serviette I think, an old napkin and, and I've dyed it and um, on this side we've got Two big cards. I just put them behind the paper clip to hold them in place. And on this side, this is fabric. And we've got a uh, pretty big tag there and another postcard. And then on the back, there's another pocket with um, a tag. And here is a file folder from Sunny Mirrors. And this one has got a pocket here. Something else in there, that's why I can't get it in. That one. I just slide in there. Writing on the back and last page and the last page and that's the back. So that's that one. I'll just put that out of the way. I have something else I want to share with you today as well. Um, that one, move that out of the way. 
Well, you may remember um, my last video, I showed you five fabric books that I've made. Well, I have a little surprise for you. Um, this one here, I'll show you a little tad of that for you. Um, I've recently reached um, 4,000 subscribers and quite a bit over that now. And I wanted to do a little um, giveaway, but I made it a, a secret giveaway this time. And what I've done is I've put everyone's name down who commented on my um, last video with, where I showed the five fabric books. And um, I've put the names here. I've got all the names on this. I use 47 names all together and I've written them all down and in here I've got 47, 47 numbers and so I'm going to just do, I like the old school version of both drawing a winner so with this um, one, um, when I draw a name I'm relying on that person to get in contact with me because unless I um, know their email address I probably won't be able to contact them because um, I think now YouTube doesn't allow um, message, uh, messages anymore so um, I won't be able to email you via YouTube if you're a winner so I'll leave it open for a little while to check if the person gets back to me and if they don't I'll have to redraw and, and um, pick another winner and also maybe the person I draw may not even want to want this so uh, I'll just have to sort of play it by ear I haven't done a giveaway like this before but uh, this is the way I wanted to do it this time so anyway here's the 47 names and the 47 numbers which I've put shape and this is going to be your little prize if you are the winner. So here we are. Take one out and it's number what? Number four. And number four here on my list is Occasionally Zaza. So um, I'll make every effort to contact uh, to contact this person, and um, if I don't hear back within a week, I'll be back to draw another winner. So thank you very much for all your support. Um, I truly appreciate all your comments, and I hope that occasionally Zaza will get back to me and I hope that she'll like this little um, fabric book. If not, I'll see you back in a week. Thank you very much. Bye for now.